टुडे नाउ फर्स्ट टॉपिक इन दैट कोर्स दैट इज द बेस्ट ऑफ पैडी सो पैडी इज द मेजर एग्रोनॉमिकल फील्ड क्रॉप्स वन थर्ड पॉपुलेशन मोर देन टू थर्ड पॉपुलेशन ऑफ इंडिया हैविंग अ मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एंड स्टेपल फूड दैट इज द राइस और राइज सटेवा और पैडी एंड मोर देन सिक्सटी फाइव परसेंट वर्ल्ड पॉपुलेशन डिपेंड्स ऑन द पैडी सो दिस पैडी क्रॉप इज मेनली इन्फेक्टेड बाय वेरियस इंसेक्ट पेस्ट नियर अबाउट नियर अबाउट मोर देन वन हंड्रेड इंसेक्ट रेकॉर्डेड ऑन दैट क्रॉप so uh, out of that 20 uh, insect pest are major economic significance and these pest mainly classified as a borer pest sucking pest defoliator pest non insect pest so borer pest in that mainly yellow stem borer golmich or also called as a gall fly then second pest in that uh, green leaf hoppers white leaf hoppers brown plant hoppers mealy bugs ear head bugs these are the uh, major second pest of paddy then defoliator pest uh, means mainly that pest uh, feeding on a foliage or on the leaves so in that uh, leaf roller horn caterpillar paddy swarming caterpillar yellow hairy caterpillar case worm paddy skipper climbing caterpillar eupterodia eupterop eupterotid hairy caterpillar these are the major defoliator pest also grasshoppers in that two species heriogliphus bunyan and oxa nitidula furl maggot blue beetle hispa these are the defoliator pest the non insect pest mainly paddy mite panicol rice mite rice field crab and field rat so these are the uh, major non insect pest of a paddy mite uh, two species of mites field crab and field rat the next uh, that is the uh, contribution of that various insect pest as well as non insect pest in the losses of a rice so in that major contribution uh, that is the 29% of a stem borer then uh, 16% yield loss due to the brown plant hopper then 14% yield loss in a paddy due to the uh, non insect pest or other pest then uh, 13% due to the golmich or gall fly then 10% yield loss in a paddy paddy due to the leaf holder then 9% due to the white backed plant hopper 9% due to the green leaf hopper so these are the major uh, economic losses due to the various uh, stem borer foliage feeder or defoliator or sucking pest in that stem borer uh, having a first or major pest then brown plant hopper gall midge leaf holder white backed plant hopper and green leaf hopper so in that first uh, yellow stem borer uh, serpophaga insertulans family pyrostidi uh, order lepidoptera so this pest is mainly distributed in uh, afghanistan bangladesh burma that is the myanmar cambodia china india sri lanka indonesia host range that is the only one host that is the paddy so why it is called as a yellow stem borer because adult of that pest which is a yellowish brown color that's why it is called as a yellow stem borer stem borer 
that is the uh, yellow stem borer that is the common name of that paste because this paste mainly in paste to the stem of a paddy that's why it is called as a stem borer and yellow because their color of a adult moth which is a bright yellowish bright yellowish in color and their forming bright yellowish brown in color and uh, in that uh, male and female distinction distinguish in that uh, female having a two black spots on their four wings and in uh, male yellow stem borer uh, without that uh, black spots on their four wings so this is the major identification of that yellow stem borer paste male and female then damage symptoms Uh, mainly uh, the larva is the damaging stage of that paste why uh, larva is the damaging stage because this Did her symptoms and white ear, head, cuma, dead panicle symptoms mainly seen in the paddy field due to the infestation of a. How is it, Eka? Hello. Yes, sir. How is it? The screen is not there. Oh, Eka. इंटरनेट दिसते यस इन दैट येलो स्टेम बोरर मेनली टू टाइप्स ऑफ सिम्टम्स फाउंड ड्यू टू द इन्फेस्टेशन ऑफ ए लार्वा फर्स्ट दैट इज द dead heart symptoms and second one that is the white ear white ear symptoms due to the infestation of a larva so uh, dead heart symptoms uh, mainly found due to the infestation of a that larva particularly on the stem so initially that larva uh, bore the stem feed the inner content of that Uh, infested stem and due to that drying of the central shoots that is called as a dead heart in the young seedling stage then second one symptoms that is the uh, drying of the panicle in a growing plant called as a white ear white ears white ears in that so this type of uh, white ear symptoms uh, due to the infestation of yellow stem borer larva so in that drying of the panicle in the growing plants and dead heart dead heart symptoms that is the drying of the central shoots and central shoots becomes a dead and that symptoms by in the uh, white ear symptoms uh, forms in the growing plant and dead heart symptoms mainly noticed during the seedling stage so grown up plant uh, totally whole panicles becomes dried that is called as a white ear then uh, identification of that paste so mainly 
their eggs. Each female uh, deposit near about 170 to 200 eggs in a groups of 50 to 80 on the upper surface of lip tips covered with a buff colored hairs. So these are the hat in shape, oval in shape and scale like and laid in a groups and this eggs mostly covered with a buff colored hairs. So uh, this is the, uh, this uh, yellow stem borer mainly uh, deposit their eggs specific on the lip tips of a upper upper surface of a lip tips. So that is the specific uh, site of position of that yellow stem borer. Upper surface of lip tips. So this is the specific uh, site of position of yellow stem borer. Each female deposit how much eggs? 170, 170 to 200 eggs in a groups. And then this color, uh, these eggs uh, should be covered with the uh, hairs for the protection of uh, natural calamities, uh, biotic factors, uh, biotic factors. So specific site of position that is the uh, lip tips, upper surface of a lip tips there, they should uh, oviposit there eggs. Then larval stage, mainly larva which is a pale yellow in color and head of that larva which is a dark brown or blackish in color. So uh, pale yellowish type G, the G, larval stages the larval period is near about 20 to 45 days. Then second, uh, third one stage that is the pupil stage of that paste which is a uh, pupa of that paste which is a white silken uh, cocoons found inside the stem. Stem chart made white silken cocoons made hansa ha pupil stages the inside the stem and pupil duration of that paste is near about six to seven days. Then uh, fourth one stage that is the adult in that female moth and male moth. So female mainly uh, bright yellowish, uh, bright yellowish in, bright yellowish brown in, bright yellowish brown four wings with a black spots on the, on their four wings. And in the male uh, comparatively uh, smaller in size as compared to the female and uh, males four wings without the black spots. So we can easily uh, distinguish that male and female adults of yellow stem borer uh, on the presence of the black spots on their four wings. In female, there are the two uh, black spots on their four wings and in male, these uh, four wings are without a black spot. So this one is the larval stage, mainly pale yellowish in color and dark brown head. Then uh, ETL level uh, means economic threshold level of that paste. That is the two egg masses when observed per meter square area. At that time, we should initiate the control measures or 10% dead heart symptoms uh, should be found at the vegetative stage, then 2% fight year, uh, fight years in the towering stage. So at that time, we should initiate the application of various uh, management practices. So according to that ETA level, we should apply the various management practices to egg masses per meter square or 10% dead heart symptoms in vegetative stage or 2% fight year symptoms in a towering stage. So in a binomics or a life cycle in that uh, generally female moths uh, deposit their eggs mainly on the upper surface, upper surface of a lip tips. They, they deposit near about 170 to 200 
eggs then uh, larva will be comes out within a five to six days from that eggs having a five stages of that larva larval period is 20 to 45 days depending upon the temperature then pupa of that paste mainly found inside the infested stay, uh, stems in a white silicon cocoons pupa which is a dark brown in color pupal period is 6 to 10 days then adult stage of that paste which is comes out from the uh, pupa and uh, total life cycle of that paste is completed within a 28 to 35 days depending upon the uh, temperature so this one is the uh, female adult moth of yellow stem borer having uh, two black spots on their four wings and four wings which are bright yellowish brown bright yellowish brown in color then uh, in that yellow stem borer male and female adults so male comparatively small in size and without black spots on their four wings female which is comparatively bigger in size four wings are bright yellowish in color and prominent black spots in the center of each of the anal end of the four wings and anal end with a top top yellowish hairs of a four wings here here is the uh, anal end of that four wings where the yellowish uh, comparatively uh, yellowish hairs which are much uh, more as compared to the male yellow stem borer then these are the damaging symptoms so this is the yellow stem borer larva mainly infest to the stem portion feed the inner content and due to that infestation dead hurts or drying of a central shoot central shoot during the vegetative stage mainly this uh, yellow stem borer infestation noticed uh, on a deep water rice so it is found in a aquatic environments where there is a continuous availability of a water or continuous flooding of a water Second instar larva mainly enclose their body in a leaf wrapping to make cubes and detach themselves from leaf and falls onto the water surface and then they enter into a stem. Mostly high nitrogenous uh, field Favors population built up of a stem borer. Just the common other nitrogenous uh, fertilizer supply kele. So this is the yellow stem borer's infestation. Hey, severe as they. Fields uh, planted later favors more damage by the insect pests that have built up in a fields have been planted earlier. Uh, late planting zar zale. So this is the just the common other infestation. As they as compared to the early planting. How to identify uh, how to identify the infestation of that pest in a field conditions? So check the field uh, regularly. Dead herds or dead tillers should be pulled out and see the infested uh, portion of that stem having uh, any larval stage of that pest. White heads or white ear symptoms also seen in a reproductive stage or panicle formation stage tiny holes also seen on the stem as well as tillers frost uh, or uh, vehicle matters means their uh, excrete of that larva inside the damaged stem so these are the signs of the infestation of yellow stem borer Dead hurt, white ear, vehicle matter, these are the major signs of the infestation of yellow stem borer. Then uh, why it is important? Why this pest uh, important? Because, because excessive loss 
minimum 20 percent yield loss in a early planted rice and 80 percent in a late planted uh, paddy crops so that's why uh, this is the very uh, serious pest of a paddy maximum 80 percent loss noticed due to the yellow stem borer so these are the uh, drying central shoot drying dead heart symptoms and white ear panicle symptoms mainly due to the infestation of yellow stem borer so these are the uh, white ear symptoms in a uh, paddy during the reproductive stage of a paddy these white ears are totally uh, empty ears or their grain fill up percentage as comparatively healthy uh, panicles is very less how to manage in that management practices first one uh, application or grow grow resistant varieties in that ratna jaya pkm6 ir20 ir26 sai sri saket iet 31 27 iet 2812 mtu 5849 ptb12 ptb20 pt 321 h4 these are the resistant varieties against yellow stem borer then uh, this is the mechanical practice in that clip the seedling keep the clip the seedling tips before transplanting uh, before transplanting, we should uh, clipping the seedling tips because uh, they mainly prefer uh, that upper surface of leaf, leaf tips for the deposition of their eggs. That's why clipping of leaf tips before transplanting. Then avoid close planting or and continuous water stagnation at early stage. So this are the favorable conditions for the multiplication of that paste. Then collect and destroy dead herds white ear, white ears from the field along with the larva. Set up light traps to attract and kill the moths. Then uh, install sex pheromones traps to monitor and mass trapping of a adults of a yellow stem borer. Then this is the specific eggs parasitoid for the yellow stem borer of rice. That is the trichogramma japonicum. They mainly parasitoid the eggs of yellow stem borer. So that's why it is called as an egg parasitoid. Should be released uh, two times uh, on 30 and 37 days after transplanting. At the rate 5 cc per hectare per release. So this is the release of a trichogramma japonicum eggs. Uh, eggs card of that uh, trichogramma should be stapled in a field and from that adult of that trichogramma comes out and they parasitize, parasitize the eggs of a yellow stem borer. So five cubic centimeter eggs per hectare per release should be uh, five cubic centimeter, five lakh cubic centimeter eggs should be released per hectare. So this is the trichogramma japonicum, which is the specific eggs, uh, eggs parasitoid of a yellow stem borer. Then application of Bacillus thuringiensis, that is the BT variety in that crustiki and neem seed kernel extracts in the combination of 2.5 gram per liter and 1% to reduce the OU position of a stem borer. So this is the um, Bacillus thuringiensis plus neem seed kernel, kernel extract, which is helpful for the prevention of a uh, eggs deposition by the yellow stem borer. Then application of various uh, chemicals in that mainly granule formulation chemicals 
which is directly uh, we should apply in a, a particular uh, infested paddy uh, plant in in their whorl so uh, carbofuron 3g at the rate 25 kg per hectare then ben furacarb 33 kg chlorotraniprol 0.4 percent granule 10 kg piperonil 0.3 percent granule 70 to 25 kg cartaf hydrochloride these are the granule form formulation chemicals effective against yellow stem borer then application of uh, various chemicals in a spray formulation acetate cartaf hydrochloride monoprotophos phenolphos azotrectin carbosulfon chlorine trinipol ethophenoprox fipronil fipronil pubindiamide so these are the uh, liquid formulations of that chemicals also effective against yellow stem borer Fibindiamide, amdacyclothrin, phosphomidon, cycloprid, thymethoxime. These are the effective chemicals. Then harvest the crop up to the ground level and disturb the stubbles with the flowing immediately after the harvest because their larva should be uh, kept. Their larva should be remains in that uh, stems or stubbles which is uh which is uh, remaining after the harvesting of a paddy field so harvest the crop up to the ground level and disturb the stubbles with flowing immediately after the harvest to killing the larval or uh, larval as well as pupal stage of that paste the next that is the major paste that is the gall mitch so mitch or fly this is the dipteran order paste family Cicidomidae. so mainly uh, host range rice wild rice of oriza grasses various species of grasses so these are the eggs then uh, maggot and adult stage of that ball fly so mainly uh, their adult which is a uh, uh, looks like a mosquito which is uh, orange in color then uh, various life stages of that golmage or gall fly in that first one eggs so mainly eggs which are tubular or elongated in a shape whitish in colors so near about 100 to 300 eggs mainly uh, deposited by the adult of pearl fly near the legule of the leaf blade so that is the specific uh, site of position of that uh, golmage mainly they deposit their eggs on the just near the leaf just near the legal of the leaf blade so after the uh, hatching from that eggs that maggot initially start their infestation on the stem that's why they deposit their uh, eggs near the legal of the leaf blade then second one a stage of that paste it is the maggot which is near about 1 mm long in size it creeps down the sheath portion of a plant and enters the growing birds and oval chamber is formed around the site of feeding maggot mainly pale red during the feeding and larval period is near about 8 to 10 days then next one stage of that uh, golmage that is the pupal stage maggots pupates at the base of the gall and moves to the tip of the gall and project outside during emergence so pupal stage of that uh, golmage at the base of the gall 
form at the in, at the site of their infestation. Then adult, mainly yellowish brown, looks like a mosquito. The male, which is ash gray in color, adults feeds only on a dew drops. So their uh, infest infesting stage of that pest is the only maggots. So this one is the adult stage. These are the eggs. That is the this one is the pupil stage of that paste. Life cycle in that there are the four life stages eggs, larva, pupa, and adult. So mainly adult deposit near about 100 to 300 reddish elongated tubular eggs just near the lagoon of a leaf blades. Then uh, egg period is near about three to four days adult. Uh, uh, after that maggots will be comes out from that eggs maggot period is near about 8 to 10 days then maggot goes to the uh, pupation at the base of a gauze pupal period is near about 6 to 7 days and uh, total life cycle of that paste is completed within a 15 to 20 days so mainly their site of oe position that is the lugule of the leaf blade where they deposit 100 to 300 eggs and their pupal stage or pupa of that of that paste at the base of a gall. Then uh, nature of damage, this is the diphtheria order paste, mainly their damaging stage is the maggot. So mainly maggots uh, after hatching from the eggs feeds at the base of the growing shoot and cause a tube-like formation at the base of a shoots that is called as a silver shoot or onion shoots. So mainly uh, that maggots which is feed on the growing portion of the plant and uh, growing portion of the shoots and due to that infestation they forms a tube-like structure or gall-like structure. That's why it is called as a gall midge or gall fly. So due to the infestation of maggot, their uh, cells becomes elongated and forms a gall-like structure. And due to that infestation, the growth of the pillar should be arrested or stopped. So the feeding by maggots and their larval secretion, which contains an active substance called as a cicidogen, which is responsible for the cell proliferation of the meristematic cells as a result gall formation takes place. So mainly uh, due to the infestation of that gall midge, that is the gall formation. Gall formation means excessive growth of, growth of the leaf tissues. So this uh, gall formation uh, takes place due to the chemical substance which is secreted by that maggot which is called as a cicidogen. So uh, due to that infestation, the growth of the plant is uh, totally arrested. The galls are formed by the gall fly are nothing but the, that is the modification of a leaf sheath. So actually that is the gall formation, that is the Modification of a leaf sheath due to the infestation of a maggot, they secrete a chemical substance that is the CC gen. The central shoot, instead of producing leaf, produce a long tubular structure called as a gall. So due to the infestation of that maggots, that infested shoots does not produce a leaf or leaves. And instead of that, they produce a tubular structures called as a galls and when gall 
elongates as an external symptoms of a damage so infested tillers are not producing not producing the panicles so generally uh, this this type of symptoms forms due to the infestation of a gall midge silver color of a shoots or onion type onion shoots are also called as a silver shoots that is the main external symptoms we can identify if the infestation is done by the gall midge tubular galls tube like structures of that uh, infested paddy field in a tillers so damaged tillers turns into a tube like galls which later becomes dry without a panicle then these are the main external symptoms that is the silver shoots or onion shoots and due to that uh, due to due to such type of damage the panicles does not the tillers does not produce the panicles so there are adverse effect on the yield so uh, at in that infested uh, shoot we can see the uh, maggot of that gall midge which is mainly yellowish in color inside the base of the stem portion of that paddy then reasons which are the major reasons in that early monsoon showers uh, main reason of that infestation early monsoon showers following by a longer dry spell continuous cloudy weather associated with intermittent rains means uh, without continuous rains their infestation will be increase high relative humidity optimum temperature range 28 to 30 degree centigrade late planting high yielding susceptible varieties continuous cropping high nitrogenous application of fertilizers close planting intensive application of management practices these are the major reasons for the outbreak of a uh, gall midge infestation management practices in that early planting is uh, helpful for minimize the infestation of that pest use resistant varieties mdu3 shakti vikram sureka ir36 dhanalakshmi these are the important resistant varieties flowing immediately after the harvesting of a crop remove the alternate host application of fertilizers in a balanced manner set up light traps one light one light trap per hectare for monitoring purpose so these are the infra red light traps mainly useful for the monitoring of the infestation of gall midge then uh, use the larval parasitoid platygaster oiz throws parasitized galls at one per 1 per 10 meter squares in the male field after after the 10 days uh, transplanting platygaster oragi this is the larval parasitoid conjor spiders like tetragnatha argiop catenolata carabid beetles in a rice ecosystem application of various chemicals in a granule formulation in that carbofuran 25 kg fipronil 16.7 to 25 kg or spray application of phenol fos 1 liter ethophen fox 500 to 750 ml fipronil 
1.5 kg lambda cyclothrin 500 ml thiamethoxime 100 gram in partial liter of, in 500 liter of water per hectare so these are the effective chemicals for the management of galmich so galmich is one of the important major pest of a paddy the damaging stage that is the maggot mainly cause two types of symptoms silver shoot also called as a onion shoots and formation of a cystidogen in a formation of uh, release the cystidogen chemical substance at the time of infestation and due to that gall formation is uh, takes place and there is no panicle uh, form in the infested tillers okay now uh, today's uh, lecture is over if anyone having a doubt please ask ठीक है